Zombie around me, that is just the truth. So, from the production I'm giving now, yes, my video is to enlighten you and make you much more better than the way you visit my page at the beginning. So, our video today will focus on how to make the Visual DJ application introduce some drum kit, yes, as you can hear at the background, to fine tune our DJ uh, software to give us what you want. It's all about putting your imagination to reality. So as my profile pics have said, a lot of people have asked questions. What do I do? What am I? Am I into software development? Am I into DJ? Am I into engineering, designing things, inverter, and a host of things? The key thing there is, all I want is for you to be able to solve your own problem. That is all. So let's focus on how to introduce drum kit into our virtual DJ application today. So we'll be starting with, from our, from our system that you can see, you go to your start menu, visit your document there is a folder called document just as i've showed you look at it this doc, this folder when you open it you get to see some folders then you look for the virtual dj soft uh, folder there's a particular virtual dj soft folder there look at it you open it when you open it the next thing you look for is a sampler there is a folder called sampler you open the folder as soon as you arrive on this folder you are going to see this folder called videos so from this folder called videos when you open it you copy all the sample of the drum kit that you want to use into this folder just as you are seeing it let me play them for you to see i'll be playing it using my window media player for you to see you make sure they are in mp3 format or WAV format so let's play while i'm waiting for it you play it you get to hear it So you can clearly see the sound. So from the, they are playing the individual sound differently. You can clearly see. Then you stop it. So from there, as you are able to copy it to that folder, you will now move to this is the folder I was talking about. Then you will now move, go back. When you are co done copying it into the folder, there is a particular file that is called video and scratch. It's in XML format. Look at it can see the file extension is .xml immediately after the file name look at it .xml so you will now open it using the plain text editor not microsoft word after opening it from the plain text editor at the beginning here you will see a declaration which tells us that it's a, it is an xml formal version 1.0 encoding then if you remember when i was talking about object oriented programming that is uh, web development you have what you call tags what you are seeing here is an example of a tag the advantage what makes it different from the conventional one you see in html is in this case in this case you are the tag are user defined you are the one to define you can use any name that you want but for the virtual dj machine they use sampler so the next item is another tag again which is an object inside another object from the name you can see is sample then as i've told you every object has attributes that is characteristics property so the property we have here is a part this is a part is telling us it points is pointing to a direction that means what direction is it pointing is pointing to this folder that is this name that you're seeing is the file number is the name of that folder this is the folder this video this video we i showed you earlier then from after it comes the slash it's telling us we should, when we when we get to the folder we should enter and check for this file name this particular file name this is a sample this is another this is a sample the next one after it is also a sample look at it all the names after the slash are samples look at them talking drum sample 
with the file extension everything is in quotation mark you have to be mindful of the quotation mark which in programming languages we call them argument so you cannot ignore it you cannot ignore it then the next thing after it we now have the description that is the column where you should stay this one is in column zero look at it it's telling us column what column column zero see it's zero the zero is in quotation mark the next one is row row number what row number zero so the rows and column that we are talking about here is is making reference to this row here look at it one two three four continuous so from just as the file name says it all then we now go back again let's continue then this is how each of the file is being added to each of these names we are seeing is the file names these are the file name of the sample of the drum kit that is a sample of the sound that we want so you can use your own file name maybe you can use maybe whenever you press a button if you say something about you as a dj maybe you must have recorded it in an audio format maybe dj this dj that or what up what up what up what up my people uh, and a host of other this thing then anyhow you want to do it then at the end of everything you have to make sure you have to follow the column as it is like this at it to row this to the last one which is column seven and row then even the file name you can clearly see it a google zero zero three is in waveform then you now have what you call the closing tag this is the closing tag when you are done you save it as usual just normal save you don't need to you don't need to change the file extension or change it to any other folder it should remain in that folder then when you are done you will now come back to your virtual dj go to settings then you will now see there is your controller mapping look at it the controller mapping here look at it customized mapping that you have already made for yourself you will now come you will select a button when you select a button i'm selecting uh, f5 you can clearly see it is talking about sampler number five so it's going to pick the file that is in one of the row that is on number five then you should play when it as if you play it in what form that is in form of stutter underscore that is why we have this stutter at the beginning if you just put play if you press play it must finish playing before it starts from the beginning but if you play if you put it on play underscore stutter it tells us that when the when we play it when it is playing the sound even if it didn't finish even if it is not done playing it when we press it again you should go back and start the beat the sound from the beginning that's what it means and it's going to play each once once so from there you will now save it and close it then i think that is all you need to know at this point then from there you can now come to your virtual dj maybe refresh it then start enjoying it so as it is let's continue with our song with the beating we were listening to earlier so so you can see Say as I've said earlier, you can never be a dundee. Yes. Yes, you cannot be a dundee. 